Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. You've planned a romantic date along the banks of a French river. You've ordered two dozen roses, clipped and plastered with tacky fake gold paint. You've purchased an overpriced fragrance that makes you smell like oregano and citrus fruit combined. Huh, weird combo. The point is, your dream date is set. But what if you want to show your partner you're interested through simple body language? Or, dare I say, romantic gestures, besides just an extravagant bouquet of roses. Well, here are six seductive gestures that most people find irresistible. Number one, keeping it close. How close you are to your partner can affect how fast your bond may grow. Not only should you work on becoming emotionally close, but physically close as well. Specifically, a little less than a meter apart. When you're first dating someone, this is a good space to keep if you want to show you're interested. Moving any closer means you're moving into the zone reserved for lovers. Often only intimate partners, close friends, and family feel comfortable closer than a meter. Number two, to look or not to look. Social psychologist Michael Argyle was one of the first of his profession to study how men and women looked at each other, usually, when someone is attracted to someone, they may take a peek behind their shoulder or a glance their way. Once the other notices them, they'll avert their eyes in hopes they won't notice their stare. You can try tell if your crush likes you back by noticing from the corner of your eye whether or not they decide to look back. Or they may be trying to avoid staring at you as well. Or they're just wondering why you're staring at them. Number three. Tilt your head. Several studies have shown that when one tilts their head to one side when another is talking, they're interested in either what they have to say or simply the person themselves. If you've made an impression on someone, they may just tilt their head, showing openness towards you. Or if you'd like to appear a bit more attractive, you may just want to tilt your head. In one study, Female faces were rated as more feminine and attractive when angled downwards. Male faces were seen as more masculine when they tilted their head upwards. When it came to males, there was no constant, as male faces peaked on the attractive scale when angled slightly downward. So go ahead and tilt your head a bit to the side. Give your crush those big puppy dog eyes. It may just make them more attracted to you. Number four. Show affection with the touch of a palm. According to Joe Navarro M.A., a 25-year-old veteran of the FBI, full touch of the palm of the hand is the best way to go when showing affection. Navarro served on the National Security Division's Behavioral Analysis Program, and in his book Louder Than Words, he comments that how exactly we touch others is determined by our feelings for them. He notes that full touch with the palm of the hand is considered warm and affectionate, while touching with the fingertips betrays less affection. So if you're going to hold their hand, hold their hand. Palms together, fingers intertwined. Unless they hold hands the other way, intertwined fingers or not intertwined fingers. Number five, expose your wrists. Shocking, I know. The wrists. Some people think that your wrists are a sign that you like someone and are opening up to them. Our neck and wrists are some of the most vulnerable parts on our body. So if your partner lays their hands out on the table, wrists exposed, oh snap, they may be just opening up to you. Some even think that you are essentially available when you hold your right wrist in your left hand. But when you hold your left wrist in your right hand, you could be hostile. Expose your neck and wrists with caution. Who knows, maybe a praying hyena will jump out of the shadows and snatch you. Vulnerability. Number six, resemble your date's gestures. If you want your partner to like you, it's important to stay true to yourself. But mimicking your partner's gestures may just show them you're interested in them. When we unconsciously mirror another's movements or gestures, this is called the chameleon effect. Maybe you've heard of it? It's been explored in several studies and basically, people like people like themselves. And when we like someone, 
we may just start adopting a few of their gestures unconsciously. So if you can't tell if your partner is interested, see if they're adopting some of your gestures. And if you are mimicking their gestures, they may not be able to resist themselves. So, which gestures will you try out? Have you ever found these gestures irresistible? Or maybe you didn't realize all along? Share with us in the comments down below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to click the like button and share this video with someone you have a crush on. They'll only know if they reach the end of this video, or if you tell them. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching.